some more HTML. Um, this is learning how to make a list. So um, in this case, I've got something set up for my favorite movies. Yes, they are. So to really start this list, we have two different kinds of lists. We have an ordered list and an unordered list. Basically, if something's in order, it's numbered. If it's unordered, it is not. It's bulleted. So at the beginning of the list, you decide. Um, let's try an unordered list, first of all, which is UL. So again, these have an opening and closing. They have their pair. So what I start with, I'll make my UL. Then at the end of the list, I'll have a closing UL. I like to put those on their own separate lines. Um, I actually will um, give them their own lines there. So now closing UL. All right, so that's the first part of the list. And you can see it kind of did a little something. It indented over there, but there's much more to it. The second part is you need to tell, tell it where each list item is. And right there, list item, LI, is what we want. So at the beginning of each one, we have an li, lowercase, okay, and at the end, we have our closing li, but I'm going to cheat a little bit here, and I'm going to copy and paste. Um, I do like them um, indented a little bit, um, so you can see where the list is, and now my closing li, and you see how beautiful this will be. Um, all right, look at that. Just like that, I have all my list items. Boom, it's right there. If I really wanted to, I could add another um, something to it. Okay, it's not really. But hey, got to like the music. So um, there you go. So I could add another one. Just that simple. Now, if I wanted an ordered list, all I have to change at this point is instead of a UL, I just need an OL, that's the only difference. But of course it has to be the right closing or it turned pink on me there. Boom, change it from bullets to numbers. So it really is pretty simple, but you have to remember there's two parts to it, the UL or OL and the LI. Now on this one I've added to it. I just wanna show that you can have more things in between than just a single line of like the Princess Bride or whatever. So. I'm gonna do the same thing. Here's where it starts. So you have to find out where it starts. So we'll do our, let's do an OL this time, um, ordered list, so it's gonna be numbers. Now I would pair that at the very bottom of everything. So look what I have. I've got the picture to go along with it. I have the I, um, Creative Commons um, licensing. Um, so it's attribute, and then all the way down to Star Wars. So I'm gonna go way down here, and actually it's at the end of this. I'm gonna put my closing OL. All right, so right away it indents everything, so that's good, but I still want to uh, have them numbered. So the Princess Bride will be my number one, so I'm just gonna put my LI at the beginning. Okay, now that should um, start to give it a number, but I need to close it. Um, and I'm going to have this whole thing. So I'm gonna find the end of this. So Princess Bride, the picture, then all of this Creative Commons. Um, I could use the inspector, but I can also find here's the sand lot. I know it's above that. So here I'm gonna close my LI. And there we go, I've got my number. How about that? I'll do the same thing with the sand lot. So open the LI, opening tag, and then go to the right above Star Wars there. Um, and I could give them their own line. Some coders would do that probably um, because we have so much going on here. Um, so I could basically do that just to show that that's the end of that list item. Um, and here's the starting of a new one. Um, and again, even this could be on its own line. So I could see a lot of coders doing something like that. And the indentation is actually kind of nice. Then I know everything within that list item is indented. So you can indent that. That's part of the other one above it. Um, and that's just kind of a way to do some clean coding. 
Um, and here is where I would put the closing. So notice it will basically put everything together within that. So closing the L L I O L. So you can see how this will look. So number one, the princess bride, there's got the picture. Everything's indented. It does not put the number two until I started the next list item, the fan lot. And there you go. It closed it and there's the number three. So you can have a lot of things in between the opening LI and the closing LI. Um, there you go. And again, if I really wanted to just put bullets instead, just make it a UL. Um, I know it's getting a little long. So there you go. We've got the bullets and we are done.